morning everyone, it's Carol here at Oak House Journals. As always, a very big warm welcome from me. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to do the 50 stack challenge this morning and I'm going to do guest check number 33, as you can see. And the prompt that Amy has set for this guest check or how to alter this guest check is that we have to use a hole reinforcer. Now, I have a packet here of hole reinforcers and I've had these for absolutely ages. I hardly ever use them because what I tend to do is if I've got any scrap paper left over from a project, then I will use my Crocodile and this EK Success half inch circle punch and I will create my own little hole reinforcers and use a dab of glue on the back and that does the job. And invariably I've then got hole reinforcers that will match my project. Um, as you can see, I've got, I can't get hold of one now, I've got one here that is going to match the background for this piece of paper perfectly. So that's what I tend to do. Today I'm going to use either one out of here or I'm going to make myself one. Um, and this packet can go back in my stash for another day. Um, I've got this piece of paper that I've already chopped to the size of my guest check, as you can see. And I also have this piece of vintage ledger paper and I'm going to be using this. To start off, I'm just gonna take this piece of paper or it's um, probably about 200 gram uh, GSM cardstock. So I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and I'm just going to run all the way around with a couple of lines of messy stitching. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back in a second. There we go, that's that done. Just done a couple of lines, as I said, on my sewing machine. I don't need to stitch this really, I just like the, um, the process of stitching. I always think it gives something else to look at on, um, on my pieces. And um, as you saw, I've just gone round with a bone folder because I'm going to be gluing this onto my guest check and it just helps to adhere nicely onto the guest check. Um, I could glue this down now, but I'm not going to, just in case I want to do some more stitching and actually stitch something onto here as well as glue it. So I'm just going to leave that as it is for the moment and bring in my piece of ledger paper. I want the whole of this length, but in terms of the width, I only want something that is probably round about six and a half centimetres in width. So this is double sided, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm looking at this portion down here. I want to see if I can get that onto the front of my guest check. So I need to fold it really round about here. I'm just going to check out the width. Now that's seven centimetres. So yeah, I think that will do nicely. So I'm just going to level it up at the bottom and fold it. And I'm just going to mark off seven centimeters and then cut it with my knife. So I've trimmed my piece to seven centimeters um, and as you can see I folded it over so that's what it looks like on one side and this is what it looks like on the other now I want this portion here so I'm just gonna fold that over I want this portion here to be uppermost on my guest check um, and I'm going to flip it round the wrong way so that the text when I turn it over and do this and then if I fold that down, all my text is readable. When I open it up, obviously it won't be. And if I look in here, as you can see, all my text is upside down. And on this side, I haven't got much detail. Whereas here, I've got loads of lovely detail that would be nice to have. So what I'm going to do now is I am just going to take a smidgen off this folded edge down here so there we go I've just taken a small smidgen off the end or off the edge so this was this is the piece that I want on the front so turning it round the wrong way flipping it over 
This was the inside portion, so I'm putting it like that and I'm going to glue these two pieces together. So my two pieces of paper are glued together and nice and dry. And as I mentioned before, this is the side that I want uppermost on my guest check. So I'm going to turn it over and turn it round. Fold this up and just offer it up. Now I've got line there, so I'm going to make use of that and just fold across the top there and that will dictate how big this piece needs to be so I'm just going to bring this piece up in here and I'm thinking about about there so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to find the center point along here and I'm only going to do it a really easy way by just making a little fold there and I'm going to use my thumb and just bring these two pieces down. There we go. So my top portion will look like that. And my bottom portion, I don't want it to be seen below these points. So I'm just going to take it up in there like that to round about that position, I think and then just make a crease at the bottom. But what I do need to do before I go any further, um, and as you can see, my piece isn't quite square, so I will need to trim that edge off. But before I go any further, I just want to check what size this is going to be on my um, guest check. And yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm liking the proportion of that. I'm going to glue inside these flaps here to close them down and then I'm going to take the whole of this to my sewing machine and I'm going to do a single line of stitching all the way round it, um, leaving it open and I've got a scrap of card here, or a piece of card here rather I should say, and I've backed it with tea stain paper. I'm also going to stitch all the way around the outside of that but I've got a little tab here and again it's uh, just a scrap of cardstock and this is two centimeters by one centimeter and I'm going to glue that onto the side of this card and then go all the way around with my sewing machine so I'm going to glue on the tab first um, I've got another one here uh, and again, I've backed this one with tea stain paper and I'm just going to stitch all the way around that one. And I also have another scrap of card here. And as you can see, I've backed this with tea stain paper and I've punched a hole in it using my crocodile. I've got one of these hole reinforcers that I showed you earlier on. And I am going to glue that over the front of that hole. I'm not going to put one on the back, just on the front, um, but after I've stitched all the way around this, um, this piece of card, because this little piece of card is going to go on the front, if I just pop that on there like that, is going to go on the front of this piece when it's glued in place. Um, I will be putting an eyelet through this, even though I've put a reinforcer on there. Normally you wouldn't put both on there unless perhaps your hole was a little bit too big and you were gonna have issues with your eyelet pulling through your card. But because the prompt for this is reinforcer or hole reinforcer, I'm gonna put that on first and then I'm going to set an eyelet in it. And the reason I'm doing Doing that is because I want to use this now this is some of the Ranger film strip ribbon it's an ideal one of Tim Holt's ideology um, uh, pieces and I want to trap a piece of that underneath the eyelet when I set it so um, what else am I going to do I am also going to um, cut out uh, a hole reinforcer using this scrap of paper. So let me do that whilst, before I head off and do all of this. Um, I want this lighter area here because, let's move that, I want this reinforcer to go on here 
there so I think let's just see yeah I think that lighter portion is going to be best so I'm just going to use my crocodile punch a hole out get my little tiny half inch EK success punch and just center up that hole that I've just punched with the crocodile and punch it out and there I have my hole reinforcer and that is going to go on there now I think I would like to put one on the underside as well so I'm going to punch out another one exactly the same process and flip it over so now I have my two hole reinforcers for on here but um, as I mentioned, I need to go away and I need to stitch this first. So I will be back when all the rest of that is done. So here are all my pieces stitched round and I have gone round everything with my bone folder to smooth down the stitching on the reverse. So now all I'm going to do is just touch the edges with a little bit of Distress Oxide Vintage Photo just to get rid of the white core a little bit on the back as well so i mentioned i was going to set an eyelet into this because i wanted to attach a little bit of the film strip so i'm just going to cut off a little piece of that i think that's probably about all i need grab my crocodile and my eyelets and I'm thinking that that might actually be a little bit too big that piece so I am going to trim it down a little bit let's trim it down to there like that take a bit more off here there we go I think that's going to be fine there we go do something like that so I'm just going to make a hole in my film strip, grab an eyelet, and there we go. So I've got a little edge sticking out there, so I'm just going to trim that off. And that can swivel round or not as I want it to. I think I actually might have it swiveled to one side like that. I'm going to position this on here where I want it to be and I'm going to glue along the top here, down this left hand side and along the bottom. But before I do that I want to put a little piece of string in here and I also need to have my reinforcers at the top. So I think probably I need to go in and do that first. I need to center up my piece on there, make a dot only going to put a fraction of glue just round the actual circle itself just to hold that in place for me I don't want the outside edges glued, grab an eyelet and I'm just going to run my tweezers just round the outside to make sure that it is not glued down there which it isn't which is nice so I've just got a length of some of the vintage French linen thread that I have in my Etsy shop and I've got a length here that is about 50 centimeters in length now this is much more than I need but I want to double it up and I'm just going to put a knot in the end to create a loop I'm going to snip off the excess so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue the back of this and glue it onto this piece here which is going to go on my guest check i'm just going to glue along the top here flip it over and i'm going to try and center it as best i can on here and before this bottom edge sticks i'm just going to take the end of the thread and i'm just going to pop it underneath to hold it in in place just give it a press with my bone folder to encourage it to settle nicely 
So this is what my piece looks like now that my thread is attached and that will just go up here round the hole reinforcer a couple of times to secure that flap in place. So before I do anything else what I want to do now is attach this piece onto my guess check. As you can see I've added a few remnant rubs onto my piece. I've put some across the top here, a little bit there and on the um, film strip there. So this is what my piece looks like now and if I bring in my other bits you can see what it looks like. So I've got these are my little um, journaling cards. So I've got one that will slot in the side there and I've left it so that this little one just peeps out from the side like so and lines up the tab lines up with the end so that it gives or the edge rather so that it gives a hint of what's going on there um, I've got a couple of journaling cards here so if I open it up I've just put a piece of roughly torn tea stained paper in there and I've gone round the edge of that with some distress oxide. I've got a little corner tuck there um, and this card is stitched all the way round and backed with tea stained paper and just tucks in there like that. And at the bottom here I've got another strip of paper. I've made this little tag Again, as you can see, backed it with tea stained paper, stitched round, put a hole reinforcer and that just sits up in that pocket like that. That flips up and then this little one goes behind here like that. This comes down and then my thread just goes round the hole reinforcer up there just to secure it in place. And there we go, that's my completed guest check for this prompt and that was Hole Reinforcer. So there we go everybody, hope you like this. I'll put some photos at the end so you can have a closer look. And I'll see you for the next prompt everybody, which is uh, prompt number 34, which was number or numbers I believe. Okay, so bye from me.